Hi, I have a review to do today. Um, kind of a really big deal. Um, some people might not be a big deal. Like to my wife, it's not a big deal at all. Um, but I feel like I need to make this video for people who are probably a little bit more like me. Um, I drive a lot. Uh, my eyes are really sensitive to light, like I squint. It's not so much like, um, like I, I, not so much like the brightness bothers me, but it does subconsciously I squint and then over a period of a few days I start getting these really wicked eye twitches and then my eyes get real sensitive. Um, then I start getting pains and headaches and I start getting migraines and stuff. Um, like I'll go home and watch TV and then my eyes won't be as tolerant to the brightness and vividness of my, my picture and staring at your cell phone at night those kind of things so it, it wears on you it wears on me and I'm a real um, I'm a real pickle about seeing things in its true form you know I don't like wearing sunglasses with scratches I can't stand it because my eyes go to that it just it's distracting so today I'm doing a review on three different types of sunglasses and I'm gonna kind of give you my little story I've kind of had my Fair share of buying so many cheap sunglasses. Um, they get scratched easily. Um, they just kind of make things dark. So, in a nutshell, I've got I've got these. These are hot butter <laughs> sunglasses. Okay. Um, and here here is my. I'm putting them on here in South Carolina. Okay. I put them on. And I'll tell you that um, you see me pretty good. I'm watching the sunset right now. I'm looking around. I've had these for a while. I can tell the minor scratches are starting to build over a period of like five or six months. Um, they're not polarized. Um, they're they're comfortable to wear. I mean, there there is a bit of a factor than falling off your face. Oh, when I first got these, they were very uncomfortable. They were so tight I couldn't stand them. I actually had to like almost stretch and break this crown here to get them <laughs> to, to fold around my nose. And um, they were all so, they weren't so tight around my head where it was hurting me. And um, when I go, when I go like this from right to left, uh, the lens is very, not quite accurate. Like you can tell that the way that they've molded the plastic you know, I go like this, and it's almost like looking at a, a mirror or a window that has ripples in it. Like you can tell, I can tell. It's very hard for probably other people to tell. I can tell that the image isn't quite perfect. That like you can tell the plastic isn't molded perfectly, or whatever this lens is made out of. Okay, but um, for the most part, they're 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 pretty decent. You know, they they've gotten me by for a while, but like I said, the scratches are starting to form. And uh, they were very uncomfortable at first. I will wear these for work. I'll continue to wear these cheap freaking ten dollar hot butters for work. It's a bargain. Okay. Now these, I've lived by these. Uh, what are these called? Riley X's. Riley X. DM. DMX or something like that. Rage. These are the Rage. Uh, Wiley X Rage. Okay. Look, I have worn these. This is my second pair in four years, and. These glasses here changed the way I looked at sunglasses. I put these on, these are polarized. And the other pair that I had, had a real thick rubber band here on the ears. I'm looking at the sunlight set, it looks, it looks good. Um, the rubber on the ear started to, started to get eaten away. I was wearing them and then once it started looking crappy, it started stringing off. I don't know, it was sweat, I sweat at work. You know, when you're taking them on and off, I never chew on my stuff though, so that's that's not a factor. But um, yeah, they do scratch too though. So sure enough, I scratched the other pair. They lasted me two summers. Uh, I think these are like 70 or 80 bucks for a pair of sunglasses, okay? And uh, and then sure enough, I think these, uh, they didn't last me not a summer because they don't have the rubber piece here. I decided to opt out of that because uh, the way, how they got looking so crappy so easily but guess what you go like this they fall off your face and guess what you do that and they boom they hit the ground and they get scratched and that's what happened to these prematurely over a period of 
just one summer. So, yeah, I think I had yellows for closer to the three years now, actually, now I think about it. But yeah, these, and, and, and it sucks because, I mean, <laughs> that, that lens right there, it's this one. That's really scratched really bad. And uh, you can tell these are molded so much better. And the polarization's great, okay? Um, it doesn't change the image when you move your head from left to right as far as the, the way, the perfection of the mold, you know? It's perfect. And, and they're comfortable as long as you're not bending over. I'll show you again, see? See, look at the falling off, okay? So you'd have to get a band for these to fit you, okay? And uh, the clarity, the clarity when they're, when they're brand new, it's fantastic. Uh, it's more of an amber-like coating. It makes things a little bit browner. Um, you know, so if you're in a budget, seven or eighty bucks, go for it. Well, you know, I got here at South Carolina, and I know I need a new pair of glasses. And I got used to the polarization of these. And I love polarized sunglasses. The way you can see through the water, the way you can see through images, the way you see through glass. I mean, it's just a a different realm but then you get little treats you know you, you see stuff in random areas and it, it gives you like an effect it's like oh that didn't have to look interesting I you now give it my wife check that out doesn't that make that look cool but there's something about it. it's a polarization I think it's a certain way that allows a spectrum of light go through um, so anyway I decided to get uh, these new new babies and you realize I like white and these are called Costa Del Mar Okay, and I want to say I spent probably the better of uh, about $200 for these. And they're the 180, the 180 lenses, something like that. Is that what it says on there? You know, scared to take these off my neck because I am never going to scratch these babies. If they're the 580p lens, that's what they are. The 580p. Okay. Okay, there it is. 580. And. I put these on and whoa, ho, ho, talk about perfection in every way. And the way they fit on my face, it's like a bat. I don't need this, but I'm taking these fishing and I've been swimming with them and stuff. Dude, they do not come off. And I tried like two or three different pairs of these. Uh, the other pair were a little bit bigger and I think actually the lenses were glass. But they were telling me that the warranty on these babies, heck yeah, I want to have these for a long time that if I scratch a lens, I could send these to go have them repaired or have them replaced. That better be true. I'm gonna come and get you, buddy. Uh, guys, let me know, because these are actually the, uh, I, I don't know if you technically even call these plastic, but uh, I mean, I, I'm assuming that's what they are, but they also had glass ones. Um, I'm hoping they're able to replace the, the plastic ones too if something were to happen. But um, this is more, yeah, I can tell this is more of a blue effect here, but, um, oh. It's everything so crystal clear. It just makes it so much more real and unreal at the same time. It puts it puts a different haze. To everything they're also polarized, but the way they fit. So I don't I don't know how long these little pieces are gonna last. You know, um, I got the little the little wires made of fishing line to make sure it don't come off my face. But uh, my first impression is, is that if these things last me the better of two or three years, I replace the lens for 50 or 60 bucks, I'm gonna save myself some, some bones. And uh, maybe you will too, if you're the kind of guy that's starting to wind up with a stack of those. Okay, okay, so yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't pinch a penny on these, I'm not gonna keep watching the dollars fly out the freaking window buying them over and over and over and over again and I like the way these things fit perfectly and like I said you go like this the image doesn't change you know they're perfectly molded uh, the clarity is absolutely perfect and the polarization is amazing um, lots of detail here so and, and they're very very stylish and I mean when it comes to sunglasses not just the way they look it's the way they fit it is they're, they're stylish too you know, and then there's a there's a value behind the warranty. You able to send these to get your lens replaced. You know, there's uh, it's real, man. You know, so as right now it seems to be real. Um, I'll give you guys another video in the future about how they're wearing. 
you know, I'll, I'll uh, make it, maybe make a video in about a year, and, and uh, if something happens to them, or they get scratched, I find out that I'm not able to replace the lenses, then I'm going to make a video about that, and let you guys know that, hey, there's a little BS in the game, the guy at the, the sunglass hut lied to me, you know, but right now, he's telling me I can have my lenses replaced. If you guys know different, and he's lying to me, go ahead and post down below and let me know. Um, here's the beautiful sunset in South Carolina. Hey, hopefully that'll be like, hey YouTube guy, I want I want this to be my Costa del Rey like screenshot. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is Phil Lindstrom from Kansas City. I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. You know, 200 bucks is a little bit of a stretch to to pay for some sunglasses. I know. Okay, but uh, right now um, I'm pretty I'm pretty well sold on them. I've been swimming in the ocean with these. You know, I actually took this thing, this wire, I did this, look, look at this, I know it looks, it looks totally gay, and now see it's under my chin, and then I did this too, I hooked this one out, yeah. and I didn't lose them in the water, I didn't lose them in the water, I mean crashed by waves over and over and over again, boom, 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 see it, I didn't buy it, and I, I just kept checking these, and just swimming, 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 maybe, you know, I didn't wrestle them, all day, no one ever noticed Okay, so yeah, if you're thinking about going Costa over Oakley or or whatever those other brands are, um, Under Armour or Maui Gym, I think that's another brand. Uh, this might be might be the way to go. All right, Phil Lindstrom from Kansas City. I'll make more videos in the future. I'm out.